Jemima. Hello, Trini. This is my Back to Basics Closet Confessions. I'm excited. Okay. Now, Back to Basics to me, darling, is about things we have in our cupboard, like jeans and tops and jackets, which most of us have, mm -hmm. and how we can do little twists that make them elevate. Okay. So, many of you might have a stripy top in your wardrobe. I'm going to start with this. This is from Zara or Me and M. I can't remember. And then jeans, which are Zara, and trainers are Rustin Bromley. Now, this is a look I have seen 101 women wear running down the street. And it's great, and it's fine, and it's a Breton top inspired by the Breton fisherman. But there's ways to make it chicer. The first thing is, we can just tuck it in mm -hmm. like that. How about getting into belts again, which I haven't worn for ages, but belts, when you have high-waisted jeans, can be the way to elevate the jean. Older women who might follow me, who might say, oh, I can't see a jean without a belt, because they lived in the era, first of all, where you always wore a belt and jeans, but from the noughties onwards, we didn't wear belts and jeans, and now they're coming back. So this is a belt that Jim Buster Vale did for H&M. Oh, cool, like is that. that lips? It's a lip. Yeah. What is essential when you wear a Breton tee? A red lip. Just like that. Feels good. Looks good. But I'm going out for dinner. <laughs> oh. So I'm thinking to myself, actually, wouldn't it be nice if I put on a fabulous shoe? We've taken that very basic look and we've elevated it. And it's so fun. Would you recommend to always tuck things in? I think that too many women feel conscious about their tummy and they think, I'd rather not show my tummy. But I think what that does doesn't show that you have a waist. And sometimes it's a toss up between, can you let go of worrying about your tummy a bit to give yourself a waist? Mm. Even so, when I see a woman who has a bit of a tummy but she shows off her waist, all I notice is her waist. Yeah. So think about it next time when you want to just cover everything and take away your shape. And what do you look for in a striped top? Well, my favourite striped top is one with shoulder pads because mm -hmm. I think what the, the difference between this striped top and the striped top you might see on a woman who likes a comfortable striped top is it will be slightly boat neckline and it will give her a sloping shoulder. And as you go down the path of life, you lose posture unless you're a ballet dancer or you're really aware of it. So as we've discussed a bit on this show, when you put a shoulder pad in, you make your shoulders straight across instead mm. of sloping. So it will make everything hang better. It will make you look taller and it will give more of an emphasis on a waist that you might be losing because your shoulders look broader. So even though it's horizontal, it is still making you taller. Horizontal is great. Most striped tops actually do go horizontally, not vertically. It's very rare, but dresses go sometimes vertically. Mm. So I think that when you're in a top, it's nice to see shape. And if you have stripes that are horizontal, you'll get more of the sense of the shape than if they're vertical. On a trouser, it's quite nice that they are vertical yeah. because then your legs will look longer. And I don't mind mixing a vertical stripe with a horizontal stripe. This is a look that I wore a lot in Venice and I loved it. And it's just a way to elevate further. So it's about taking a fuzzy mad little top. This one is from Dries van Noten. A top which is unusual with something very basic. And for me, if I wear black trousers and a top, I quite like something a bit mad underneath it. It's the only way I wear black and because silver is my most flattering shade when I'm wearing black, I kind of love that look. Still keeping the shoes on. And in fact, when I went out and I elevated even more than I was in Venice, I then put that over the top of it. I can't and believe I how much that. you've worn this top. I it's know. amazing. You can go from the most basic jean yeah. and you can take it to another level and that's my little Zara jacket. Oh, is it? I was going to give away and then I didn't because I remembered it's that perfect length for a high-waisted jean when you're wearing enough of a heel where you aren't seeing too much the length of yeah. your back. And wearing so, it like this, it looks more expensive than Zara. That's what Okay, next. So whilst I'm getting ready, in my incredibly neutral grey, which can wash me out, I've decided to do a bit of clockwork orange. Again, a t-shirt with a pair of jeans. And this mm -hmm. is like grey. I can look a bit grey. There's no shape to my body, nothing. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I would suggest is wear a bright lip, because a bright lip with grey in the summer makes the grey cool. Tuck in. Okay, where are the jeans from? The jeans are me and M, and I love Ooh. these jeans because finding this grey jean really flattering. I'm in a 28, I think, and this is a t-shirt from Zara. I think they still have these jeans. Get a scarf. This is an old Saint Laurent scarf. A lot of you have seen it, and some of you have even copied it. But having a little metallic with some grey 
just elevates the gray, gives you that slightly Frenchified air. They would probably do a red lip, but it gives something to it that has some metallic and now the colors are all tonal, mm -hmm. but there's a little bit of charm to it. Very charming. Okay. Yeah. Next up, you can always consider in the summer to wear a shirt over a t-shirt as a light summer jacket. Cost shirt, which I think is still around. I don't know if it goes with a orange. I don't think so. Yeah, it's not I'm like fighting a little. Mm, I think we tone it down a bit. Yeah. So what I'm going to do for the neutrality of the group is I'm going to add a little bit of Katie sheer shimmer to tone it down. Consider though the idea of a shirt over a t-shirt. Like I love that. the lip now. You love the lip yeah. now because it's got a bit more warmth in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So think of shirt as a summer jacket if you wear it undone and if it has the, a nice shape at the bottom mm -hmm. and wear a t-shirt underneath. But when you do this look again, I love the shoulder pad underneath because it gives the shirt a bit more of a jacket feel because it has structure. Yeah, and I love the textures together. Yeah, the textures are good and I like the colors together. I think they work well. Mm, lovely. Okay, but I'm going out on the town and I want to take off that Good and I'm going to go up. back and I'm going to change my lip. I think I want to be smoking up my eye, so I'm just going to take a little bit of chalice and I'm going to do the quickest smoky eye in history. Put that on with my finger and go back and forth so I get some smokiness like that. You get the gist, don't you? And then I'm going to add with the Dido a little bit of ream and put that on my cheeks. I mean, I've just gone a little bit cooler in my makeup now. So this is just about the merit of having a metallic top in your life, a metallic jacket. And if you are a jeans and t-shirt girl and you don't want to do a sequin jacket, mm -hmm. then something that has metallicness about it will immediately make it look like you've made an effort. This is an old H&M one. The shape is fabulous. I love the little zip so I can have a tight sleeve or a loose sleeve. So adding those on. That is a great watch. jacket. It's a good jacket, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, H&M. H &M. I can't believe it. And you've kept the white trainer. I've kept the white trainer because the length of the jeans is difficult for me to wear a heel. So I can't wear a heel with it. But you know, there are evenings you want to go out and some of you ladies might want to go out and have a fabulous evening. You mm. want to be able to walk home yeah. easily. So. Well, so if you are sitting down at a dinner or something, you just see your top half, don't you? Exactly. Gorgeous, okay. Okay, next. Run from the house, run to the shops, run to Waitrose, run to the garden, run to see the kids, run to pick them up from school. <laughs> We've all worn this kind of outfit. It. Um, the joy of it is you bought yourself a coloured pair of jeans, yeah. you know, and it's like, I bought the coloured pair of jeans, so look, aren't they lovely? Great. But how much more can we do with that? Yeah. So if we make the commitment to buy a colour pair of jeans, as opposed to what I mean by denim or white, how can we then be a little bit cleverer with how we style it? So I'm going to chuck off the white trainers, which seem a little bit dull. I'm going to throw on a fun little top. I think I'm going to put on... As I fall, <laughs> I might have a little bag, but I could just put a fun top on like that. What's happened to it now is it's got a coordination in its life. You know, mm. it has a more of a purpose. So the jean is sort of hinged in between things that go together and it comes together. So mm. instead of it just being a colour jean with a white top, there's now a bit of the yellow here, which is in the shoe. There's some purple in my top, which is in the jean. And it looks purposeful. And still comfortable? Still so comfortable. Okay, what bag would you do? <sighs> I don't know yet. So okay. I might then throw that on like that, mm -hmm. you know, and then twist up the where's the jacket doodad. from this is victoria beckham in the sale oh, yeah yes. and then i might take like a little yellow bag a little silver bag a little silver bag i do think lots of people are tempted and these always come in many colors from zara but think about what you could do to just bring them together maybe from seeing our videos on color with color and see how you could top and tail it yeah and enjoy the color a bit more exactly. 